and we're still sifting through the numbers of this split decision made by New Hampshire voters last night as they re-elected three or four Democrats at the top of the ticket and then voted for Republican control of the state legislature. WMUR's Adam Sexton joins us now to break down some very interesting numbers from some of the statewide races. Well, Tom, what those numbers tell us is that there's a pretty good chunk of voters here in New Hampshire who love to crisscross the ballot, confounding the expectations of the pollsters and the pundits. Senator Jean Shaheen's big win on election night etched her name ever more deeply in the granite of New Hampshire politics. And yet a funny thing happened while all eyes were on her race. Turns out she wasn't even the top performing Democrat on the ticket. That title went to incumbent governor Maggie Hassan. We would typically think that the race that has had the most visibility, which in this case has been the Senate race, would be the one which would kind of set the table for uh, uh, down ticket voting. But it wasn't the case. In Manchester, Hassan polled 16,672 votes, while Shaheen earned 16,410, a difference of about 200. That was a trend that repeated itself in towns and cities around the state. But that wasn't the only unique twist of this election. Longtime rivals Carol Shea Porter and Frank Ginta won each other's hometowns. Shea Porter took Manchester by a margin of 1,193 votes. Ginta carried Rochester by 243. I was absolutely surprised that Carol Shea Porter did not as well as uh, in her hometown of, of, of uh, Rochester as, as, as did um, Governor Hassan or Senator Shaheen. The second congressional district saw voters moving all over the ballot. In Salem, Scott Brown trounced Jean Shaheen by a margin of 2,300 votes. But congressional hopeful Mary Linda Garcia, a Republican who lives in Salem, was unable to carry her hometown against incumbent Democrat Annie Custer. Salem is one of the most Republican towns in the state, and here Ann Custer actually got more votes in Salem than Nick Garcia. And that has to be one of the most bizarre aspects of this election. While exit polls show voters were skeptical of Scott Brown's relatively short-term residency here in New Hampshire, Ginta, Shea Porter, and Garcia all lost their respective hometowns. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.